please remain standing while the faculty honor guard proceed to their seats. Stay, 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 stay. Please, please remain standing while the faculty honor guard proceed to their seats. <laughs> President Brower, members of the Board of Trustees, university faculty, graduates, families and friends. As Chief Academic Marshal in the university's 120th year, I proclaim the opening of the 2021 Undergraduate Commencement Convocation for the College of Arts and Humanities, School of Education, School of Nursing, and School of Theology and Christian Ministry. Please remain standing for the welcome and invocation. Thank you, Dr. Martin. Welcome to the world's most beautiful commencement setting and this wonderful event to celebrate the class of 2021. As we begin this morning, I want to invite Dr. Mary Paul, the Vice President for Spiritual Development, to come and offer our invocation, Dr. Paul. I invite each of you as we begin to pray to take your hand and put it across your heart. Breathe in this moment. You're here, all of you, and you've come from a lot of different journeys along the way, and we just want to be still in this very moment and invite God to speak to us anew. Let's pray together. Our gracious God, we give thanks for this moment of celebration, the beauty of this day, the wonder of your love, the watch care, the love and support given by the surrounding friends and families throughout this journey, and especially this past year. We give thanks for each and every graduate. We give thanks for their lives, their stories, their purpose and calling. We give thanks for the known and unknown ways that you have weaved your grace, your provisions, your strength over them, around them, and between them to bring them to this moment and this place. May the holy entanglements of your love continue to catch them by surprise, opening their hearts and minds to your presence that offers new and renewed life in the name of Jesus this day and every day. And as we pause at this threshold moment, what has been to what will be, we ask that you would bless this commencement with an outpouring of your grace upon all who are gathered. We pray this to the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, and all God's people said, Amen. 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 You may be seated. I want to take a few moments just to recognize some individuals with us today, especially to welcome the chair of our Board of Trustees, Reverend Doug Pierce. Thank you for coming and for leading our board. Uh, that allows us to be here uh, as the uh, culminating point of this academic year. We have a couple of faculty members in this session who have indicated their plans to retire. And I would like to ask Dr. Sam Powell and Dr. Barb Taylor to stand and allow us to recognize them and their uh, influence and teaching among us. And give us, yeah, I'm, uh, they're behind the polls. Let's welcome. I would encourage you to look in the program and see the summary of the contributions of their long uh, tenure at the university. Uh, they are colleagues and friends and have influenced uh, thousands of students through their work. And I encourage you to uh, note that and uh, with gratitude uh, see all that they have contributed to the university. It has been a tradition at commencement convocations to have the opportunity for a faculty member to provide a, a time of reflection that is addressed specifically to the class. 
And while the rest of us might listen, this is really a moment for you. Uh, one who has shared this journey with you in a faculty role to come and to share in those reflections. Today, I've asked uh, Brianne Kite Kirby, Assistant Professor of Creative Writing, to come and to uh, provide that reflection. Uh, Brianne is a Point Loma alum. She has been teaching at the university since 2004. She's currently working on two books, one of which is a science fiction novel, which I'm not really sure, but some of you may all be in that, I don't know, but a science fiction novel partially set at PLNU. Would you welcome Brianne to provide the faculty reflection? Please come. Hi. It is such an honor to get to speak to you guys today because this ceremony is a cusp moment. It's the space between the years of purposed study and then what's next for your purpose in life. But that's not all because there's always a plus. It is also a cusp year. This calendar year, if you maybe have noticed, was marked by losses and really difficult circumstances. For many of us, this was the hardest academic year we've ever had. And I commend you all, not just for getting through the year, but for getting right here, right now. You're broiling under your masks and your coats. I want you to look at someone next to you and just give them a round of applause, because guys, you've made it. You're here. This isn't just a cusp year, though, for us in academia. 2020 and 2020 plus, as I'm calling this first half of 2021, is a period of global crises that has made the world move into a new configuration, much like World War II did for our ancestors. All of us, all of us are going to have to find our place in it. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, there is no going back to normal, which, provides you all here with an awesome opportunity and an awesome responsibility to shape the future of humanity. No pressure. Attention has been called to the large social and global issues of climate change and social inequity, and humanity is going to have to address those if we want a future and a hope. You all will have to be called to address these, whether it's in your kitchen or on a global scale. And I believe that Point Loma has prepared you for this moment. These last four years have not just grown your minds and expertise in the fields that you're going to enter, but it's also grown your faith too. And as someone who's been there, trust me, even deconstruction grows your faith. Your time here has inter inextricably intertwined all of these elements so that you're going to be able to find paths of agency the ability to do good and be in God's will in this world. In cusp moments, sometimes it's hard to believe you have agency. Sometimes it's hard to parse what God wants for you to do with your life. But trust me, if you are truly seeking God and his love in your life, you will be in his will no matter what you choose to do. In Romans 8, Paul tells us that Christians have a superpower that keep us in God's will even when we don't know how to. This power is the Holy Spirit. Paul says that even if in our human frailty we don't know what to pray or what to do, the Holy Spirit is right now in heaven interceding for us according to God's will. So guys, you get to celebrate two things today. You get to celebrate that you are done here and moving on to a new step, yeah. And you get to celebrate that you are in God's will, even if you didn't know it, but now you do. And knowing is half the battle. Be confident as you begin a new season of purpose, you have a superpower and it will keep you in God's will your entire life as you go forth and do good in this world. Point Loma Nazarene University, class of 2021, congratulations.
Thank you, Brianne, for those good words. In a few minutes, we'll honor each of the candidates gathered here today with the conferring of their degrees. But before that begins, we want to recognize graduating seniors who've received one or more of the specific categories of honors. First, we wish to honor three graduating seniors in this convocation with the highest cumulative GPAs, earning a perfect 4.0 in all of their work at PLNU. As I call your name, please stand and remain standing until all three names are read so that we can recognize your achievement. With a major in writing, Maddie Bucci. <laughs> With a major in international studies, Hannah Eskerud. And with a major in history, Emily Korn. Let's congratulate these three students for this impressive achievement. Now, if the three of you will remain standing while I introduce the next category. The next group of students includes those receiving one of three levels of Latin honors due to their high cumulative uh, GPA and new members of Phi Delta Lambda Undergraduate Honor Society for students in the top 15% of their graduating class among Nazarene institutions of higher education. So will the students receiving Latin honors and the new Phi Delta Lambda members please stand and remain standing as the honor scholars are introduced. And if you have a gold cord, you should stand. Now, if you will all remain standing while I introduce the next category, which is our PLNU Honor Scholars. PLNU Honor Scholars are a group of students who commit to a year-long scholarly project beyond the requirements of the university and their major. And they do this under the direction of a faculty advisor. So would the Honor Scholars and their faculty mentors please stand and remain standing. At this time, with all four groups of honors standing, we express our appreciation for these students and their good work. Congratulations to each one of you. You may be seated. We now come to the high point of this commencement convocation. Mr. President, it's my privilege as Provost and Chief Academic Officer to present to you the following candidates for their respective degrees. Candidates, as I call your name uh, and degree, will you please rise and remain standing until all degrees have been called. Candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree, please stand. Candidates for the Bachelor of Music degree, please stand. <laughs> Candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree, please stand. <laughs> Mr. President, each of these individuals has fulfilled or is scheduled to fulfill in the summer all of the degree requirements. And on behalf of the faculty and by their vote, I am pleased to recommend to you the conferring of their respective degrees. Thank you, Dr. Fulcher. This is the moment that you have been working toward. And it is a privilege to represent the university in this moment and to confer your degree. Please listen and enjoy this moment. Now by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Point Loma Nazarene University and by the State of California, 
it gives me great pleasure to confer upon each of you effective at the date of completion of your program of study, the degree to which you are entitled with all of the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduates. One of the traditions that marks this graduating event is the movement of your tassel from the right side to the left. So please grab hold of your tassel and move it to the left to signify your completion. <laughs> Graduates, you may now be seated. As our associate honor guards release each row, will the candidates please stand and make your way to the front and approach the platform as your name is called. Amanda Lee Abbott. Christian Aguayo. Peyton May Alberts. Thomas Michael Allen. Zane Everett Allen. Evie Alvarez. Cindy Marlene Amaya. Savannah Blake Ames. Madison Ann Avery. Graduating magna cum laude, Jillian Axton. Graduating cum laude, Haley Bartlett. Logan Beebe. Allison Bell. Keliana Margarit Betanzos. Veronica Blancas. Graduating summa cum laude, Maddie Bucci. Graduating magna cum laude, Olivia Rose Buchanan. Nikki Cabrales. Graduating summa cum laude, Allison Ann Kill. Graduating summa cum laude, Bradley William Clary. Zion Close. <laughs> Melanie Kaufman. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Haley Elizabeth Coyle. <laughs> Jordan Reed Collins. Graduating magna cum laude, Sarah Elizabeth Cooper. Erin Marisa Corbin. Caitlin Corral. Christopher Cowan. Graduating magna cum laude, Ashlyn Craig. <laughs> 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 
graduating cum laude, Cedric Crawford, Jr. Kira Cree. Faith, Aaron Daniel. Marco Darkea. Graduating magna cum laude, Isabella Dempsey. Graduating magna cum laude, Paul Deem. Henrik Din. Graduating summa cum laude, Noel Faith Doctorian. Emily Morgan Dubois. Samantha Dyer. Graduating summa cum laude, Hannah Marie Escarud. Caleb Egan. Jake Eisenberg. Graduating magna cum laude, Rebecca Midori Elliott. Stephen Elliott. Julia Rose Elmquist. Graduating magna cum laude, Olivia Anna Fell. Lauren Marie Ferguson. Carmen Flores Lopez. Graduating magna cum laude, Summer Ray Fox. Saira Yvette Gaitan. Graduating magna cum laude, Max Geiling. Kelly Judith Griffin. Graduating magna cum laude, Hannah Halada. Graduating magna cum laude, Sydney Halloran. Graduating summa cum laude, Andrew Jacob Hansen. Graduating summa cum laude, Emily Marie Harris. Graduating magna cum laude, Corinne Hopk. Graduating magna cum laude, Evan Hahn. Graduating Gabrielle Hurd. Peter John Hewitt. Graduating summa cum laude, Rebecca Lynn Hogan. Nicholas Holdman. Graduating summa cum laude, Shane Alexander Hoyle. Graduating magna cum laude, Bree Jacks. Maya Jackson. Graduating summa cum laude, Grace Suzanne Johnston. Brooke Elizabeth Jones. Sydney K. Vaughn Douglas Kincaid. Jacob M. Kleist. Andrew Christopher Kyle. 
Graduating cum laude, Acacia Katarina Laliotis. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude, Emily Korn. <laughs> Madison Lighty. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude, and Adam Kenneth Lima. Graduating summa cum laude, Catherine Ray Lucht. Graduating magna cum laude, Sophia Malak. Graduating cum laude, Claire Elise Marietta. Sabrina Nicole Martinez. Michael Masso. Graduating cum laude, Kyle McClellan. Tyreen McCray. Graduating cum laude, Emily Merrill. Graduating cum laude, Kylie Miller. Graduating cum laude, Olivia Claire Miller. Olivia Mora. <laughs> Hannah Mundine. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Jack Murphy. Graduating magna cum laude, Hannah Nelson. Lauren Nickel. Zach Knoll. Graduating summa cum laude, Madison Olson. Sandra Michelle Osuna. Joshua Pasconelli. Christina Peña. Alejandra Pereira. Gabriel Perez. Graduating magna cum laude, Jennifer Filer. Dawson Pitcher. Graduating cum laude, Lauren Rodemaker. Graduating magna cum laude, Connor Rager. Madai Rangel. Iman Rashid. Jana Leanne Reinmuth. Graduating cum laude, Grace Richardson. Copper Root. Melissa San Jose. Graduating magna cum laude, Katie Schaefer. Mitchell Schwinkmeyer. Graduating cum laude, Tatiana Scott. Jasmine Danielle Segarra. Graduating magna cum laude, Dana Simmons. Graduating cum laude, Laura Michelle Slotich. Allison Smith. Graduating cum laude, Chase Soika.
Joseph Stanfill. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude, Sophia Starner. <laughs> Finley Stitt. <laughs> Edward B. Stumetz III. Graduating summa cum laude, Sydney Sullivan. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Claire Sunberg. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Tamanaha. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude, Emily Hope Tomei. Graduating magna cum laude, Tatum Shakarako. Graduating cum laude, Kiana Valdiviso. Delaney Valentine. Graduating cum laude, Maggie May Valentine. Calista Barella. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Tian Vinand. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Corinna Willard. <laughs> Darby Williams. Alicia Wright. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Courtney Joy Young. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Aurora Grace Grisbeck. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Lauren Juhan. Graduating cum laude, Tessa Ann Anderson III. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Tara Ehrenchild. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Sierra Austin. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Ashlyn Barnes. Graduating magna cum laude, Lauren Bauma. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Caitlin Brechtel. <laughs> Anastasia Marie Brunt. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Kylie Calderon. Graduating cum laude, Mackenzie Carlson. Woo! Graduating cum laude, Sadie Cunning. Yes! Sean Patrick Datu. Yes! Graduating summa cum laude, Leah Duker. Woo! Graduating summa cum laude, Addison Sage Duran. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Hannah Floyd. <laughs> Rayanne Foyle. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Michelle Ann Galloway. Graduating summa cum laude, Lauren Emmy Garner. <laughs> Verena Galee. <laughs> Taylor Marie Glassrude. <laughs> Jonathan Gomez.
Graduating magna cum laude, Riley Goodfield. Graduating summa cum laude, Brooke Gunderman. <laughs> Natalie Haglin. Graduating cum laude, Samantha Hickey. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Carly Anastasia Hoover. Graduating cum laude, Taylor Jade Humphrey. Graduating cum laude, Grace Hooter. Graduating magna cum laude, Taylor Jaspering. Graduating cum laude, Meredith Jennings. Graduating cum laude, Savannah Mackenzie Johnson. Graduating magna cum laude, Lauren Lebitsky. Graduating cum laude, Mackenzie LeBlanc. Graduating summa cum laude, Carly Lugo. Graduating cum laude, Haley Lusty. Jonathan Macedo. Graduating cum laude, Colby Macucci. Graduating cum laude, Sarah Mayrick. Graduating cum laude, Mackenzie Marie Melton. Graduating magna cum laude, Carly Mendoza. Emily Mills. Graduating cum laude, Sabrina Cecilia Moreira. Kara Murphy. Graduating magna cum laude, Elizabeth Murphy. Graduating cum laude, Cami Oliver. Jordan Taylor Oliveira. Fernando Osorio Garcia. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Fernando Osorio Gracia. Graduating cum laude, Victoria Patton. Graduating summa cum laude, Summer Brienne Pearson. Ma Maggie Pena. Zaira Alejandra Peña. Graduating magna cum laude, Victoria Lund Peterson. Stephanie Rabe. Mia Nicole Rendon. Julia May Rigsby. Danielle Savely. Savannah Sheena. Graduating magna cum laude, Jenna Lee Shepard. Graduating magna cum laude, Caitlin Sherman. Graduating cum laude, Alexandra Silsby. Graduating cum laude, Camille Silverio. Graduating magna cum laude, Cassandra Maria Simus. Graduating cum laude, Brianna Simeone. Graduating summa cum laude, Mallory Diane Smith. Graduating cum laude, Michaela Marie Summer. Graduating cum laude, Courtney Claire Stowe. Graduating magna cum laude, Cameron Tatham. <laughs> Ivy Tran. Graduating summa cum laude, Vanessa Van Schaik. Carmen Behar Priest. Graduating magna cum laude, Mark Joseph Villalobos. 
graduating magna cum laude, Cameron Waller. Grace Erlene Wellsfree. God bless you, God bless you. Thank you. Graduating magna cum laude, Hannah Wheeler. Yeah. Graduating magna cum laude, Luke Lawrence Willenius. Graduating magna cum laude, Nicole Pauline Ivantidis. At this time, would all of our graduates please stand and receive our congratulations. Thank you. You may be seated. Well, graduates, there is one group remaining that I really believe we need to express thanks and appreciation to today. And it is all of this crowd that has been part of your support group. Would you stand and recognize them with your appreciation, please? <clears throat> and while you're up, please, uh, graduates, remain standing. <clears throat> In just a moment, I have the privilege of providing a sending blessing over you on behalf of all of the faculty and the staff of Point Loma Nazarene University and on behalf of the Board of Trustees. But I, I, I want to just take a moment of personal privilege uh, to let you know how deeply grateful we are to have been a part of your journey, to share this time with you We've done our best to teach you and, and develop within you lifelong learning appetites. We've, we've worked to shape you in your person and your character in the depth of your faith and spirit in Christ so that how you live for Christ is a lifelong journey of growth and discovery. And now in these moments, we finish this portion of our work with you. And so receive this blessing knowing that it comes with our hope and expectations of all that is yet to occur as you follow God in each step of your life ahead. Now receive this sending blessing. Throughout all of your life, May you know and receive God's grace. May God's truth embodied in Christ resource your living. And may God's holiness fill you with love for service to others. Now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, both now, but forevermore. Congratulations, graduates. We are proud to send you from this place. We have one final tradition that uh, we want to mark this time this morning. Um, go ahead and be seated, because I'm going to have you uh, reach under your seat. Uh, under your seat, there is a small little wrapped package. 
Uh, you may remember the opening Sunday morning of NSO. In New Student Orientation, uh, we had sand on this stage, and you placed a small, to some of you, a very large handful <clears throat> in the container. And the purpose of that is to represent your coming together in this moment of time to join all of those that have come before you. And as those sands, grains of sand, are mixed together, we have become a part of this legacy and heritage at Point Loma. So in your little container is a portion of that sand, not just exactly what you put in, but enriched by the experiences of all the grains of sand that are us together. I hope that is a, a reminder of all that happened and of the foundation for all that yet will happen. The other tradition in that time was the ringing of the university bell. And today I'm going to invite the ASB president, Nash Manker, to come. And as we conclude, as we conclude this convocation, to ring the bell and mark the moment of our completion. Nash, have at it. Thanks, Nash. Never has been done so well <laughs> until the next five. So, uh, well, it's been, it has been a privilege uh, to share with you today and to share with your friends and family. And we're going to invite our faculty honor guard to take their places, and we will soon begin the recessional. As we recess, I would invite the audience to stand to honor our graduates through this recessional. After the conclusion of the recessional, uh, you will be dismissed uh, because we have another group coming in behind you who want your seats. <laughs> so audience and graduates, please stand and let's have our recessional. <laughs> 